guys what's up it is me all art lewis so today i figured you know what let me take a break from doing all these shorts because normally i just do youtube shorts but today i will be doing a tutorial i guess you can say on drawing technique or to put it in simple basically just things that would help you out in drawing yeah because um see i'm self-taught i didn't go to no classes to learn how to draw in fact i'm still learning i'm basically a student you know i'm still a noob you can say i guess and um yeah i didn't have no one to teach me stuff right i started off making a lot of mistakes let's just say that but um yeah today i'll just show you some just easy you know tips that would really help you out throughout your art career if you're just picking up a pencil and say hey let me try to draw this is probably one of the few things you have to keep in mind and you may want to do just saying so the first thing you would want to do is if you're going to draw something all right first thing is obviously <laughs> obviously a pencil right it doesn't even have to be any nothing fancy you know i mean obviously there are pencils that are more better more suited for drawing like i don't know just yeah but any pencil will do if you're just trying to you know just you're just trying to draw you know for the first time and just for that purpose i'm not going to use anything special like these other pencils i have i'm using a regular it's literally a regular almost school pencil I just found around. I have no fucking idea, but all right, yeah. And um, the first thing you would want to do is don't do this because this is a big mistake is when you hold the pencil firmly up, obviously like this. No, this is bad. Don't do this. I mean, obviously, I just don't recommend it because it's not going to maximize the drawing, you know, to its fullest. This is no, no. You would want to do is tilt it like this. Now, doesn't matter how you hold it, literally. Like, it doesn't matter how you hold the pencil. That's just up to you, literally. It could be a righty, lefty. It does not matter. Just hold it however you want. Now, the one thing I will say is do not do this. This right here. This. Don't do that. that, that that's a no-go right there. What you would want to do is hold it like this, right? Hold it like this doesn't have to be the same posture as mine you could literally do this and hold it like this i don't know it's up to you <laughs> but just leave space leave about this much space it depends uh for sketching i would say this much you know you want the pencil to like you know you want the pencil to be very flexible around the paper so you know like this oh you know, just very flexible around the paper and another thing is do not put a lot of pressure in. Do not put a lot of pressure when you're drawing. Like don't, like, you know, that's comes out a bit clumpy and messy. Don't do that, all right? What you would want to do is hold it very lightly, you know, just kind of light. Have an in-between pressure, you know. In-between pressure, you would want to press, you know, against the paper with. So you would want to press you know, not too light, but light, you know, enough to where it's very almost fluffy, you know, nothing, yeah, like that, you don't want to press hard like this, you know, it, it's not what you want to do, that's a no, -no. so yeah, you just want to very lightly, this is just like, just practice this, literally, very lightly, just start shading, Okay, that's, okay, I forgot to explain this. Shading is basically when you're adding shadows to your drawing or like a shade. And yeah, you just very lightly press against the paper and just start doing this little circular motion almost around the paper, right? Like this. Just do a little, you know, left, right, back, you know, just keep on moving like that. That is shading, guys, and that is very important. You can literally just practice this for a while. Just get used to it, you know, nothing special. Just get used to that. 
Another thing, very important thing, is um, so when this is another uh, what you would call it. Okay, so I remembered what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> I had a, had a brain lag, okay? So basically, what I was going to say, and is this something also very important, in my opinion, with drawing? Now, this is just what I do. Again, I am not, like, I'm not taught, you know, like, I just, I'm self-taught, basically. I just look stuff up, and if I like it, I just do it. I don't know. But a few things that you know, really helped me throughout and still are helping me because I'm, you know, I'm still learning is this. So it doesn't matter what you're drawing, right? Um, you have to, very, you know, you have to press down very lightly. You, I don't know. I just don't like this. You know, this is not like, you know, for a reference, I'll just be drawing an eye or whatever. I just don't like this. You know, this is very clumpy. It doesn't it just doesn't it doesn't look okay and i just don't like it it doesn't look good in my opinion now if you're going for something like this you know for like i don't know if you're just going for this then that's fine but for me i just don't i don't i don't really like this you know it's very you know like very measured calculate i don't know it's, it just looks weird i don't even know what i'm saying but it just looks weird i don't i don't really like that what I would do is this. So what I would do is very lightly, like I said, hold the pencil very lightly with care and um, very lightly start doing this, right? Don't leave the pencil like stuck to the paper like this, all in one motion. You wanna very lightly, you know, just start going like that, you know, get the shape of the eye. This is also how I, uh, prefer to draw my eyes right i believe i made uh youtube shorts a video quick video of that just how you know i just like to draw my eyes or whatever but if you want go check that out just to see exactly how and uh yeah you see very lightly with almost barely any pressure just go back to it you know like that don't leave it pressed down like that so you see the difference between leaving it pressed down like that and this you get a nice soft you know just sketch it's, it's just you know very nice soft then what you want to do is yeah just you know just very lightly just keep on doing that and you know just yeah that's you see how in my opinion it looks better obviously there's a process you know but yeah in my opinion it just it looks so much more better already than that clumpy mess down here this i don't yeah i don't prove none of this yeah nah but yeah you see this is already slightly better so I mean, yeah, that's just another thing right there. Is just, you know, lightly doing this is just, it comes out a lot better. Also, the benefits are that if, let's just say, you know, you do this, right? Very dark, clumpy, right? And you want to erase, right? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. How in the fuck are you going to erase? Sorry. How in the hell are you going to erase this? It is so dark, and it's, the lead is already so deep into the paper. Look, I mean, you could try, right? It's like, it's still, they're just going to leave erase marks. Now, as with this, since you have sketched really lightly, you, look, literally, you don't even have to apply any pressure at all. And it's almost invisible like it literally so yeah that's i don't know that's just i don't know there's just so much benefits i just feel like this is a very good way to start out by doing these things another thing we're gonna be doing i'm gonna teach you guys if you have literally like no experience you just want to start you just want to start learning the basics of art and drawing 
this is relatively simple. It is shading, you know, and it's basically shading. This is most likely how shading is done. So with shading, you know how we talked about the variety of the pressure you put on the paper. Shading is basically that. So to get a darker shade, you want to press harder, not extremely hard, but like harder to where the point where the lead comes out a little dark, you know, like this, right? And then as you go up, you want to get the lead, you know, you want to hold the pencil looser and looser and looser and looser and looser until it just kind of like fades away or something like that. And, you know, to fix the shade. Yeah, this is basically, I don't know, this is just an example of it. Like that, you see? So it starts from dark, right here, dark. I don't know why the hell I'm writing. Let me just show you guys. <laughs> okay, so, you know, this right here starts from dark, and then it starts from medium to light, and then it just goes up all the way to invisible, I guess you can say something like that. Hold on, no. There we go. Now that's invisible. There we go. Yeah. So it goes from dark, medium, light, invisible. That's literally shading right there. And things you could do to practice shading is practice with something very simple. Like, let's just say, I don't know, like, let's just say a ball. This is a very good thing, you know, to, to do to practice shading. I think it's like the standard thing. I know this is like kind of all like boring or whatever, but like this is just like a tips and tricks video. I will be doing like actual like like tutorials and stuff and like actual like uh, drawing videos and stuff like you know, I'm going to do basically a lot of everything. Mostly, I'll just do YouTube shorts because I feel like it's just more enjoyable. You know, you just sit back on your phone, just go through, like, my channel and watch just different cool little art videos and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like it's cooler. But, yeah, you know, you start with kind of sketching circle. You know, just make the circle if you want dark. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Just make it darker if you want. Yeah, and just make it darker and you start off with a circle right then to practice shading is basically and also light reflection in drawings so let's just say uh, the light is reflecting from this angle right from this angle let's say light is reflecting from this angle there's there's going to be a gap of light in this little corner that is always going to you know reflect light it's where the light is coming from so you would want to shade from dark over here and you know shade from here dark all the way up here to light you know so dark to light that's what you want to do now it's different if the light is reflecting this way and this is if you're doing visual drawing like if you're outside and like you see an object on the floor if the Sun is hitting the object this way most likely you're going to add the shading this side, this side dark to light. But in this case, the sunlight is coming through this way, okay? So you start from dark over here and just very lightly apply it, you know. Start from dark right here. I would say this is okay right here, like this. And then you know, once you do that, I would say you can start slowly making it more lighter, you know? It's a little lighter, a bit more, you know, just more lighter and lighter as you go up to this little point right here. Just want to make it a little more lighter and lighter, lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter till you reach this, you leave this little bit always you leave this little bit open to show where the light is reflecting from and yeah i mean this is basically just like a quick uh yeah 
this example, so like that, something like that. The, this is, you know, it's not perfect, it's not, it, it's average, it's okay, it's whatever. It's just to show you the difference between, you know, dark, medium, and light. Literally, that's literally all it is. If you want to, like, shade it in more, uh, you could use something like this, a blending stick. But, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're, like, just starting off, you can use a blending stick. You could also just use your finger. This is what I do. I just use my finger like this. And from the darkest point, you press down a little harder. As it goes up, you, you know, you put less pressure on your finger. And it shades it better. Now, for the shadow down here just to show that it's you know on something very lightly start sketching a shade you know a shadow down here something like that there you go use your finger if you want there you go. yeah there you go something like that boom that is i don't know it's relatively simple i mean i'm saying this because i can do it already but like when you start, you can literally pick this up within a few days. I'm not even joking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, to end off this video, um, I'm just going to uh, basically just draw an eye, right? And use everything I just said in this video. So, yeah. So, I'm going to start off very light. Very light. I'm gonna do this, try to do this as quick as possible, hopefully. Very lightly, like that. It's very light. There we go. Like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be very light. You know, something that you can erase if you don't, you know, like it, whatever. It's very light. And I will be showing uh, one of these days a full tutorial, like an actual full tutorial on how to draw an eye, like an actual tutorial, not just like a quick run by like I'm doing right now. You know, I'm going to do a full tutorial on that someday. Also, again, a tutorial on uh, what you would call it anime drawing or like anime style drawing or cartoon style drawing whatever you want to call it uh i'm gonna show you my way on doing that hell yeah just just make sure you get a light little uh it's like a light little reference going then as you know you finish that you start adding a little more pressure just a little bit more pressure in certain areas There we go. And, uh, yeah, sorry my background, you know. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I hope you don't pick up a lot of it. <laughs> There's OD stuff going on in the background, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm just here to show this. It's whatever. Whatever goes on in the background is whatever. I don't, I don't really care. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. Again, there's just a quick little, I don't know, quick little rough demonstration. I'll be showing how to do a full eye um, one of these days, pretty soon. I just don't know exactly when. You know what? I'll try tomorrow, and if not, the next day for sure. Like an actual full-on tutorial on how to draw an eyeball. I guess you can say like an easy way because this is just me just like showing me drawing i'm not really explaining much other than the techniques i use for shading and yeah this hold the pencil light talking about shading um i'm going to start shading this right now so for shading like i showed you with the ball or whatever you know how i shaded the ball um you're going to start from dark a little dark right from the outer area right here right it's a little dark then as you go up a little lighter like this you know it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be exactly good 
Well, at least for me, because I'm just kind of showing you guys real quick. Um, there we go, something like that. Boom. Doesn't have to be ideally, you know, good. Then the same thing for the bottom area. You do the, the same thing you did on the top, you do it on the bottom. This time it starts from here dark, down light. On top it's dark here, and as it goes up it gets lighter. It's just two principles right there. Alright, there we go. Something like that, okay? Just, yeah, it just doesn't have to be a good blending. It could just be... See, this right here is just a mediocre blending right here. Now, the true blending comes with this little guy here. Or your finger. You could just use your finger to blend it in. This is a, a blending stick. You know, you guys might already know, obviously. A blending stick is just to blend the colors together. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of if you just want to pick up a pencil and learn how to draw, I'm going to use my finger. And it's honestly, in my opinion, I would prefer to use my finger. So to, you know, you slightly press down on the outer area. And as you press, as you go outwards, you start pressing lighter and lighter and lighter like that same thing on top press a little darker I mean harder press a little harder you know and as it goes up you start releasing that tension in your finger and just kind of just let it glide through the paper like that you know, just let it glide through the paper and there boom you get your shading those are the two principles I just showed in this video, what to do and what not to do. This is, in my opinion, this definitely helped me a lot. This got me to where I am right now in drawing. And um, yeah, I'm going to end this video like this today. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys like it. You know, I don't know if you guys are going to like it because I don't know. Maybe you guys do find these like uh, tutorial videos actually enjoyable, but I mean, if you're actually just trying to learn something, then yeah, this is definitely probably for you. And if, I don't know, if you just just wanted to watch, then again, <laughs> you know, thank you, I guess, because I don't know how anyone could really find this actually like entertainment, entertaining and shit, but yeah, I mean... These are the principles that I use, the rules that I use to drawing, you know. I hope it helps you guys out for sure, because this definitely helped me out. Like, it, it, this literally, this literally got me to what I can do now, like, to how I draw right now. Those two, three, whatever, you know, those three or two principles I just showed. Practicing that with different variations of um, references just I don't know, it just got me to where I am now so yeah again I will be doing another video on how to draw a proper eye I'm gonna be doing step by step like actual steps not just like showing you guys because this was just to show you that you know how you can use shading in drawings um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like and subscribe please please you know it helps a lot especially since this is a new channel you know it helps a lot with the growth of the channel and um yeah i just hope you guys you know just leave a like and subscribe it's it's nothing too crazy you know it's, it's just a like and subscribe and um yeah if you guys have any actually if you guys have any advice then just you know leave it down at the comments like i actually do look at comments and i would take your advice well, first, I'll look into it, you know, I'll, I'll look into the advice, and if it's, like, it actually works, if it actually works, then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the advice for sure. So, yeah, if you have any good advice, just let me know down at the comments, and uh, also, just leave recommendations, I guess, of something you want to see me attempt to draw, attempt, okay, because I, I can't promise anything, like, good, good, but... I can attempt and hopefully you know it will be enjoyable you know hopefully you guys would like it yeah just leave down something uh you might want to see me attempt to draw or whatever so um uh 
uh, yeah, I have been All Art Lewis, and um, I will see you guys on another video. And uh, yeah, peace.